all right, week six is in the books now. Everything's done. All the Sunday night games, Monday night is done. Let's get this recap going and see if I can do this in 10 minutes or less. You know, I was like, because I'm good like that. So, Ravens, Titans, pretty much. Uh, I was like, Ravens can sort of get back on track. Uh, ball, I was like, Lamar over here dishing out the ball to everybody, even like old, like Odell Beckham sort of looking back to his old self, get the ball, just go straight down the field. You know, I was like, oh, I'm not I'm a little mad. If it was old Odell, he would have got a touchdown off that bad boy. But nonetheless, I was like, everybody got the ball. Aguilar was catching, uh, catching the ball. They got Mark Andrews. Everybody got touches. Everybody was able to get it. And the defense pretty much held up their end like they normally do. And I was like, I was like, don't get me wrong. I was like, Derrick Henry sort of still puts the fear out on everybody. But they were able to hold off the Titans to get the win over there in London. And uh, so, Seahawks, Bengals. All right. So, this one was really about, to me, the defense of the Bengals keeping Geno and that offense, like, uh, really off the board. I was like, now, you know, they defended their thing of, like, rushing them and, you know, collapsing the pocket with Hubbard and Henderson and stuff like that. But I will say that a lot of – and, and yes, you want to say it's that. But I think Geno did just also play bad. He threw a couple passes that just seemed like – like, like they weren't good passes. So to me, it it was also you could say like the defense made him do that, but a lot of those passes seem like why did he throw those in the first place? But they picked up, they picked them off, and basically Burrow was sort of back. They didn't, they they wasn't out here scoring quite points like that. But Higgins got the ball, uh, Jamar Chase got the ball, uh, boy got the ball. You know, I was like he he he, he spread it around. And use his weapons to his advantage. You know, that's that's sort of something, something they've been lacking. You know, and Jamar Chase has been here and I was like here and there and he's been picking up steam. But you know, you sort of forget that he got like you know, a couple thousand yard receivers on this team with boy Higgins and himself. So in that, I was like, they did enough just to get the to get the job and, and get to get it going. Falcons and Commanders. Uh, a game basically the Falcons shouldn't have lost. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, the Commanders, I was like, I was like, I, I was like, this should have, this should have been probably a high scoring game because they're both of the teams have like similar type of weapon, like weapons, you know, Falcons with Aguilar and B. John Robinson, Commanders with Robinson and um uh, and Gibson, Terry McLaurin, uh, Samuel Dotson. Pittman, London, and uh, I would like Hollins, and I think they just got Jefferson. So they got they got weapons, but also Ritter over here, once again through three interceptions. Now, the thing is, it's not sometimes the, the interceptions; it's the interceptions that you're doing. Like how I was talking about with Gino, he threw a couple that just seemed like, why did you throw those passes that way? But I can at least say what Gino is like, okay, maybe, you know, like he's trying to give his receiver a chance because he got good receivers. The one Ritter was just showing was like, what are you doing, dude? Uh, like he threw one and where like a dude was wide open in the end zone, but he, you can tell he just lofted it into the end zone instead of like throwing it to the pylon where it's like it's just your receiver and nothing. Uh, the other one was basically the, the dude was right on the hip of your receiver doing like, you know, doing a slant and you threw basically threw it behind him giving the advantage to the DB and it was time it's time where it's just like you're right there to get points you got to be smarter in your situation you got weapons all around you to be better than this I was like I mean it, it it's, it's one though and it's like you you see the talent of him but you, but it's just like but the thing is this is really like his like like first year so I'm like you're gonna have to extend Sort of how you did with Jalen Hurts at the same time. You shouldn't be ready to let him go. And, you know, Sam Howell, on the other hand, too, you know, like just a while back, he was also doing, being like that. But he's actually putting up. But he, 
he's putting up points to where you're like, it's not just him, or you you know, there's always there's something else. But in this game, you basically just see like this nasty of Washington and stuff like that, and basically the play calling the B enemy of getting them all like like the ball and put them in spots and putting them and getting uh getting like they get they got Samuel going a lot and like especially last couple of weeks in general. But they got McLaurin here and I was like he was the one that was being able to go. Uh but anyway, I was like but also you can credit the defense of the, the uh, commanders as well too. I was like they basically getting that redder and I was like to a young guy disrupting his whole process and caused him to throw picks and that's what they did. And the Falcons win the game because of that. Uh Bears and Vikings uh, I think if Field probably would have been able to finish the game, which he wasn't, uh, they would have probably been able to pull out this game. Uh, this this really seemed like basically two losing teams. Uh, the the I was like the Bears was able like they were they were move they was moving the ball, but they were never able to get points. And sort of the same thing. I was like. And the Vikings were sort of, you could tell like they missed Jefferson. Like, of course they would. But the Falcons seem, the Falcons seem, not the Falcons, the Bears seem in a way that that they just couldn't score. And a couple of times it was just like, they they would have a play and you'd just be like, ah, they didn't score on it. They, you know, not, not I mean like like on the actual play where it would be like actual, like a good chunk. And it's like, ah, they, I wish they would have scored on that one because I don't have the feeling that they would score there. Uh, but Fields got hurt, and they put some undrafted rookie in there, and the Vikings basically was that much of garbage that they gave him, they gave them a chance to really win. To be honest, it really was a game of who wants to lose that, and it really shouldn't be that once the Vikings took out Fields, but it was. But the Vikings got the win to prolong their suffering, I guess. Anyway. So Colts and Jaguars, um, yeah, this you can. This was probably the first game where you could tell the difference between Minshew versus Richardson. Uh, even though Richardson is hurt and we and he's he's hurt from like the run he did, you could tell in a lot of you could tell in a situation that if Richardson was there, it would have negated the speed and how they collapsed. On Minshew, not saying that Bridgerton wouldn't have caused like you know also through like you know like through interceptions or he also wouldn't have got collapsed in the pocket, but that element does help of him being bigger and able to run away from uh, the I was like the Jacks defenders. Uh, I was like the the Jaguar offense has still been sort of just like mm. uh, I was like they they. They still haven't put together like a really smooth look like team. Travis Etienne, that dude, uh, that really, that's been really helping them. Uh, but yeah, no, they haven't been able to. Like I know it's a lot of points, but you could just tell like their offense is just, just sputtering. I guess that's the way to put it. But who cares? They take a bit. They take care of business. They were able to, you know, in the divisional game. They took out the Colts. I was like, they win. Who cares? Uh, Dolphin Panthers, I'm not gonna lie for a minute. I was like, what's going on? We wasn't on the board. It's like Bryce Young was looking over here like what everybody expected him to be like being taken number one. I was like I was like, Oh man, I was like I was like, this, this they used to shut us down. They they just gave him being something. When in reality, it was just fourth quarter. It was really just like early game jitters. It was it it didn't last long. Cause after they basically scored the two touchdowns, it was a wrap. After that, there was there was nothing else. Uh, after that, it became a track meet that they lost. Uh, I was like Tyreek Hill, I that guy, that guy cheat code. That guy's a glitch. That guy's a it's the computer versus all you regular players with sticks. Cause the things he be doing where he just take a pass, go one way, stop. Then go the other way and take it to the house. Ridiculous. Um, I was like, Mostert, pretty much they told him, you're getting the ball all the time. And he's like, oh, thank God I've been tired of sharing the ball. He basically, 
that dude was just basically taking all of the running on his back and taking every one of them back to back to back. It was it was crazy. Uh, after that, they just I was like they ain't let up. I was like Bryce Young, only person he seems to know is Thielen. Um, or I was like, which to me is like really that Thielen still got it more so than anything because nobody else on that offense can get the ball. I was like, Bryce Young, I was like, uh, I mean, so LaVisca Chanel, he got hurt. He was the only other one that could do a little something, and that didn't uh, matter once he got hurt. Then after that, it was pretty much a wrap. Uh, and the defense, like for us, I was like, once, once we get a lead, it's a wrap. We taking everybody else out. And after their first couple, they couldn't stop us. Uh, Dolphin basically smacked them up. Same for Texan. Called it, called it, but C.J. Stroud looking like the man out there. Ain't I was like, I, I mean, I also called it. He would get that, get the interception on him. But I was like, of course, I was like, anybody can find him like a like a nut in the forest during the winter. Who cares? Anyway, but C.J. Stroud looked at that defense. It was like, ha, you think I got this? Uh, he was still able to distribute out the ball. I was like, they were still able to run the ball with, uh, Pierce. I was like, that's the name. Get him and Hall. They, they came out at the same time, but I get them always confused. Um, I was like, they still able to run the ball. I was like, uh, I was like, see this Stroud getting the ball to Robert Woods. Uh, he basically took on the challenge of this, uh, defense and basically, it didn't. It didn't really matter. Don't get me wrong. They they were getting up on him. They were getting close, but they could. I was like, but he was always getting the ball out right before they got there. Right before they got there, he was doing a lot of things where he was like, it was almost like two S where, but just like his like his eyes were shifting them, and he was like pull it. Uh, the Saints, on the other hand, the defense been been good like like the whole year, or whatever. It's the offense that I'm always worried about. They got Kamara back and. It helped. It helped, and it moved the offense. Uh, and it moved the change, but it had. But with Carr, it just hasn't connected. They to me, their offense should be a lot m like a more high octane, and it's not. It really still just looks like how he just played on the like the Raiders. Like you got Michael Thomas, you got Olave, you should be over here pushing the ball a lot more. You got some good backs other than Kamara. You got some other backs to use, and. They're not, they're not really getting any, any points on the board. And to me, I was like, that's that plays into the Texas hand because of being a young team that just like, yo, we just need, we just need to execute our plays, and that's what they did, and they basically and they won the game because of it. Uh, 49ers and Browns. Uh, I was like, did not see the upset, but I seen the closeness of the game because of the Browns defense being that good, which it was. Before the injury started piling on for the 49ers, they was still they was they still pretty much had that close. They was fast. They was they're, like they're really they're really fast and athletic. And guess what? That sort of works when you also have like against the 49ers, we got a fast athletic team. But the difference is is when you're able to play physical. Cause guess what? They're a physical team with their with their player. Now, once the injury sort of happened, then you started seeing that Brock Purdy is. Like, they, he was already looking sort of human. But once they actually started going, he was, like, actually human. And then he had to make more plays. But guess what? He he answered the bell. He was able to make the plays still. Don't get me wrong. Like, he actually gave he gave them interceptions and stuff like that. And if you probably had a different quarterback that was a PJ, you probably would have been able to probably blow them out or blow them out considering everything. But with PJ, I was like, you get a really close game. I was like, Ford is still running the ball really tough, which, you know, I'm not saying that Chubb is like no scrub. Uh, I was like, he ain't getting no love. But he, but you could tell us the scheme as well. Because Ford had been, like, he'd been tough. Rugged. You get it. Um, but they had a chance of, they had a chance to win, and the kicker missed the kick. And they, I was like, they lose off that more so than anything else of the play or the injuries. Um, yeah, so the, the Browns win this one. Stay within that, you know, AFC, you know, North type of thing. Um, Raiders and Patriots, uh, another ugly-ass game. 
I was like, Mac Jones played better. I mean, but of course, nowhere to go but up. Uh, uh, I was like, I also laughed. I was because in my head, I was like, of course he played better because they had Malik Cunningham behind him, and he is more dynamic than like Zappy and stuff in a way that I'm like, I'm like, if you play bad, that guy at least is in there is more electrifying to where. That will get people to actually be like, yo, we need to have him in instead of you, Matt Jones. Because he, I was like, he, yeah, he did more dynamic with the ball. And I was like, that's somebody that's always more scared because it's just somebody that just gives you a better chance, for, even when stuff is failing. It's like, well, he could at least try to bail us out, kind of, you know, kind of mentality. But Matt Jones, I was like, while throwing ill advised picks still, also didn't get help at times from a couple of his receivers. Like, they had a chance if Devontae Parker just catches the ball, they have a chance to probably kick a field goal in order to get the game. But, or at least, you know, you know, you get the game, yeah. But didn't. But Mac Jones still is doing stuff like getting a safety or, you know, he's, he's, still, he's still not on there, especially when it's like, and the fact that the Pagers lost to basically, like Jimmy Garoppolo got hurt. And you basically lost to Brian Hoyer. That's pretty much what you did. Which it was basically just the pa- the ex Patriots beating the current Patriots. That's really that's all it was. Brian Hoyer, Jacoby Myers, just basically being like, "Yeah, we was on your team, and then you you ain't bring us back." And guess what? Now you got sorry ass back. Yeah, how about that? Anyway, Raiders somehow. Three and three, got all these pictures. I, I, I don't know. All right, Buccaneers, Lions. Thought this was gonna be, which it was. I thought it was gonna be a more competitive game. Like if you would have told me it was like fifteen twenty or something like that. Uh, but it was. It, it actually was. It was. It was really competitive from like throughout the game. And then after a couple, like you know, after they uh, stalling out Mayfield and getting some interceptions. Uh, that really just turned the tide. Cause a lot of those where it's like short field for golf and stuff like that. I was like, they were able to just take advantage. And then, I, and then once you sort of, once the Lions, you know, they at this point, especially they wasn't able to really run the ball, but it didn't, it didn't matter. Uh, cause they didn't have their running backs in Montgomery and Gibbs and stuff that it does it didn't, it didn't matter. I was like, they got, uh, Jamison Williamson back and they, he, he got a really like, Nice looking catch down the field, but once they get up on you, it's a wrap. Uh, you if you don't stay tick for tat, you know, like going back and forth with them. I was like, their defense able to actually like hunker down and they they just start taking everybody out. And the Buccaneers defense tried. I was like, I thought they would. I thought well, I thought it'd be a, like a low scoring game because they got a lot of players on that. You know, that defense. I was like, I I this, this, I can't name the dude. He got the hyphen in his name, but you know, Vita Vea. You still got uh. Bush, and you still got, uh, or I was like, Bush or White, dang. You see, I was like, but you got him, you know, you got, Dave. you still got, you still got defensive players on that team that keeps you in game. And Mayfield, you know, he got the weapons on the and they just, he just couldn't get it to them, or if he did, it was always like taking back. So, but yeah, no, Lions basically take the game. Once they get up on you, it's a wrap. Uh, Ram Cardinal. Another game that was closer than what the score what the score says. Uh, I was like they pretty much that I was like that the, the touchdown the coop at the end basically gave them the game. That really what th- drove them up. Otherwise, I was like otherwise it was a close game throughout. Uh, Dotson, uh, Dot not Dotson Dobbs had been doing what he been doing. It was like he been I was like he been playing like pretty good this season, but you could just tell like it just like. Mm, on, on a lot of those, like he had like Hollywood Brown. If he gave it a little bit more oomph, that was a touchdown. Uh, I was like, there's somebody else that he just slightly like, like he just missed that would have also gave them like at least not a touchdown, but probably closer up to uh, get points and stuff. But it was a closer game than what it looked. Uh, but pretty much this was Stafford, Coop, and Puka just, and Kyron Williams just going ham. All day, they were getting big chunks. They just the way they were playing, it seemed like they should have had a bunch of points. The way they were playing, I was like, But Coop is Coop is back, it didn't even like he was even hurt or injured or nothing like that. Uh, and I was like, That defense is still also playing with just like enough 
uh, you know, with Donald and stuff like that. You like not, not name people, but enough people to fill in the spots that you know that we that we didn't see in the last couple of years. But Ram beat the Cardinals. Uh, Eagles and Jets uh, defense game. It was all defensive game. Um, even though the Eagles were missing some dudes on defense, I was like, Zach Wilson still made a play that he needed to against that get that line, even though they didn't have Jalen Carter, but he still made a play that needed to be. He was getting the ball to Garrett Wilson, and he was taking he was taking advantage of the situation. You, you only can play who you play. Jalen Hurts, on the other hand, was getting harassed a lot to the point that he just was throwing interceptions. He was throwing it to the wrong team all day, and basically how oh, herky jerky in the pocket um and with a team like the jets and their defense something you really can't do and they took advantage of it and wilson did he didn't screw up made the right plays i was like got the ball to Brees hall and they was able to walk out with a victory let's move like that then late night game bills and jets i mean not bills and jet bills and giants Closer game than I think anybody would have expected. I thought they were about to come. I I didn't think they were break. I was like because I to be honest. I was gonna say Tyrod Taylor to me. I didn't think they were gonna bust the doors off the Bills. I mean the Bills were gonna bust the doors off the Giants. I didn't think that. I did think that it was gonna be a closer game than what everybody would have thought of. But I thought that the that they would have put up a lot of yards and stuff like that, but maybe not the points. You know what I'm saying? Tyrod is that is a, is a competent quarterback. And I think that showed and he to me the way he played should be more of a sign that Daniel Jones isn't doing what he needs to do with this team. Cause a lot cause it won't it won't look at but when you watch the game, I was like there was a lot of stuff that brought back by penalty. There was a lot of, you know, where Taylor was getting the ball to a lot of dudes, you know, from Hyatt to Robinson. You know, Barkley came back when he's only able to do so much. Uh, but I think I think the way Tyrod played shows you that there's a lot of talent on this team still on the offense and that even though that line is, like, injury-riddled and not playing well, that Daniel Jones can run just like Tyrod Taylor. I was like, the arm strength is about the same, but the fact of the pro kind of like Tyrod don't how to throw the ball without also getting interceptions and getting in trouble, whereas Jones just does it and he just holds on to the ball and he just takes a sack. And with the Bills, I was like, the defense just play. I was like, the defense was just able to play inspiring ball, even though that you know they got they was able to score a couple touchdowns. It it really was it 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 doesn't look as well as the, as it looked when you look at the game. It's like John Allen was having a hard, tough ass day in a way that you think didn't think was that he would come out the game. He got a lucky had a touchdown, which I mean I guess you know I was like to me that's lucky. I was like you got over two people with them not lucky. It was if he if that would have been in a sense we've been talking dog crap about him. That's all I got to say. So yeah so. Uh, but the Bills inked out a victory over the Giants. Last but not least, Charter Cowboys. Hey, I was like, the Cowboys didn't cowboy here. The Chargers, they didn't really charge her either. Nobody really went out their way to score. I was like, it, yeah. The, I was like, they're down Mike Williams, but they didn't. I was like, but they had chances. They had chances in the red zone, and they just couldn't come up with with points. Uh, the Chargers, that is, uh, and the Cowboys looked like they must have listened to everybody talking about them over this past week. Because I was like, they did the very thing, specific things that everybody was talking about. Like CD Lamb was getting the ball left and right, left and right. Hmm, sound like somebody heard that. Uh, I was like, Pollard, which to be honest, except for that, I was like, he got that really long run, but like, he, ain't do, he ain't really do anything. Um, this is really like a case of just being fortunate. Um, 
in a lot of situations. But the Chargers really just kept, you know, maybe they did charge because they did bite. They kept biting and bite themselves in the foot. And at time, I was like, Dak also ran the ball. Ooh, what? He did what? Yeah, he did. Uh, but yeah, the Chargers, I was like, they were always just there. They were just there where it would just be like, it'd be like third and 13, and they'll get it. And it's like fourth and one. You know, so, or, but also, I did think some of the passes, I was like, to me, some of the passes were done when I'm like, Herbert, just run, just run into, just run into dust and get, get the damn yard. That's all you got to do, you 6'6", six, six, dude. Get the damn yard. Uh, but yeah, no, I was like, the Cowboy, able to sneak out a victory. Um, yeah, dude, hey, they won, shut everybody up for a week. But I don't think it was nothing crazy impressive. But I think they did other things that will at least have no, like, everybody off their back. And that's the only thing you really ask for this, okay? But anyway, that's my little trying to recap. That's my little short analysis. Uh, I failed the marker, but hey, try again next time. Until then, I'm out.